on, Corrine. Let's call it a day. Do you have time for a walk-in? Do they look like they can pay? I can pay, Miss Nelson. What can I do for you? Uh, Mr. Wilson, still your ball? Uh, my name's Lee. Rep in the street says you handle crazy cases. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to be rude, but do your parents know you're here? Well, it don't matter. Because I'm an emancipated minor. I asked another triumph for our legal system. Look, I'm going to lay this out straight. You guys need to help me find my wife. Man, I had my coat on. Are you old enough to drive? Sorry, no offense. Hey, no foul. I went straight up. You guys got to help me. You and your um, wife been together long, or was it one of those whirlwind schoolyard romances? Well, 400 years, a dozen lifetimes, so hell yeah, it's been a long time. You're reincarnated. OK, well, in that case, I have someone that you need to talk to. Uh, look, I don't want to talk to another shrink. I've wasted enough time already. No, 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 he's not a shrink. He's more of um, a historical consultant. It doesn't bite every time. Henry, Lee, Lee, Henry. Hello, Lee. I read these. I used to draw too, back in the twenties. It was ads mostly. It took me a long time to find her that time. Your short hair looked really great on her. Real baby vamp? Yeah, yeah, but in the sense of a cute girl. I mean, my shiva was a smarty. I'm talking the cat's whiskers. Her and me used to go on my breeze and get into all kinds of bushwood trying to outrun the bulls. That private dick brought you here because she wanted to make sure she wasn't being a dumb door. And now here's a rob. She's ready to cast kittens, turn Loney loose, and cut you loose, got that lead. I ain't no sad daddy, I'm on a level. I miss Flap. Yeah, Flap is a sick. Uh, no one else understands. I, I've died a dozen times already. Oh, tell me about it. You too, hey? So, what's the verdict? I like I also think he's telling the truth. Well, if anyone's gonna recognize an old soul, it'd be you. Yeah. I, I, I was a Mohawk guy, and, and she was the minister's daughter. We had to meet on the down low under this young tree. This was when? On the first time. Uh, 1682. Yeah, we stole a canoe and we drowned up in the Humber River Rapids. But uh, at least we drowned together. Star-crossed, like Romeo and Juliet. If there's any reason to seek immortality, eternity with your soulmate sounds pretty good. Oh, now you sound like a 15-year-old boy. OK, so where's the famous tree? Yeah, you start to see my problem, G? Yeah. I mean, this mall's been here 10 or 12 years. Thank you, Urban Sprawl. It was here. It was right here. It was the same thing every time. One of us figures out who we are, finds a tree, cars or initials, and sets a date to hook up. We keep going until we find each other. Well, I hope you find her. But I have to go. I have another appointment, and I'm running out of night. Trust her. I did. So why don't we uh, start working on this in the morning, then? OK, can't we do this now? You've been alive 400 years, and you haven't learned patience. See, for those of us who have to cram it all into one lifetime, we occasionally like to, you know, catch a wink or two. Do you have anywhere to stay, Lee? I'll figure something out. I'll find a place. Oh. 
You could crash on the sofa in my office. You almost forget you have a bed at home. Tell me about it. You work all the time, yeah? Yeah. So, uh, I guess you're not hooked up then. X night on the Oka Pay. My bad. So, Lucci, we need to schedule your performance review. Oh, hey. Look, I am completely on top of my paperwork. I'm maximizing my downtime, just like they say in a seminar. It's easier to catch up when you're not putting cases down. Closes come in cycles. And this cycle's got Vicki Nelson's name shot through it. Saying I should sweat this review? I have warned you about this before. There's just no reason to follow Nelson into the dark. Your review tomorrow. All these lies are all so jumbled. Everything's so mixed up and random. I remember my name was John. John. Well, that should be a piece of cake. Yeah, 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 I'm seeing something. Yeah, I'm seeing a car wreck. Okay, yeah, a, a red VW. In Dallas. <laughs> Damn, that's my girl. We always die together. I mean, sometimes we have years, sometimes it's just for hours. Still romantic to you? <laughs> Thanks. When we die, our souls go to the next baby being born. You know, we're different lives, but we're the same. So you're always left-handed? Yeah. What about her? Well, she's a really bad singer. She's good with figures, and she hates cats. OK, so she's a tone-deaf, cat-hating accountant. What else? Come on, come on. Pretend we're playing the newlywed game for keeps. I, I don't know how this stuff works. It just does. OK. Hey, it's me. Hey, Uncle Gus. Nice to hear from you. Oh, Crowley's lurking, huh? All right, I have a favor to ask of you, so just say yes. It'll be easier. <sighs> uh, yeah, Thursday dinner sounds great. All right, um, can you pull an accident report for me? It would be about 15 or 20 years ago. Two fatalities. The first names were Alice and John. And it was a Ren VW that helped. What is this? Bring your own haystack week? I know, but come on, it's in the name of love. Love at first sight. You know what? I am staring at a whole stack of love at first sights, and they all ended up in property damage, abuse, restraining orders, and death. Oh, that's so sweet. I should crochet that on something. Give me till morning. I'll see what I can do, OK? OK, thanks. Will do. Excellent reflexes. You're faster than you used to be. And you're just older and more distinguished. Augustus. Yeah, you're in here. <laughs> Your message was cryptic. Are you looking to make a move or not? Yes, I think so. I am. We can work with that. Night after tomorrow, your place. I'll bring the book. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Bye. Ah, I'm flashing back to my past life, and it smells a lot like a locker room. You got any mouthwash? Yeah, I'll get it for you in a sec. Your memory was off a bit. It was Alice and John Smith, of course. And that car accident 25 years ago, there was only one fatality. Well, that's not right. Kind of is. Look. Here's your old bit. See, John Smith, deceased after a long illness, predeceased by his wife, Alice, and survived by younger brother, Jeff. Jeff. Huh. Well, that gives a whole new meaning to the term long lost. Hi, Jeff Smith? Yes. My name's Vicki Nelson. I'm a private investigator. You look good, don't Ah. Uh, hey. Sorry, this is Lee, my intern. He's, um, he's very excited about missing French. I said, I know this might be difficult after all this time, but I was wondering if you wouldn't mind discussing the accident that killed your brother and sister-in-law. There's not a lot to tell, really. I, there was an accident, Alice died, and then they brought John back, and he fell into a coma. They said I should pull the plug. 
I knew they were right, but it took me 10 years to find the courage. Well, you should have let him go. He would rather die with her. I'm really sorry. He's just... What the uh, hell do you know about it? I'm very sorry. Just don't come back here again. Where's the tree now, this? I don't feel good. How are we going to find her? I don't know. You just freaked out. The only person who has any details that might help us. It's the damn hormones, OK? It happens every time I become a teenager again. It sucks. Mom, let's go drown your sorrows in pizza. You know, I could have gone down to the precinct and picked this up. Detective Salucci dropped it by for you. I don't pry. It just doesn't add up. The paramedics arrived quickly, but were delayed leaving the scene. And two of the paramedics got into a fight? It doesn't say why in the report, because the cop who filled it out was too busy covering his own ass to do his job. When was this? Uh, 1983. Was there a lot of blood? Hmm, the report says she was a hemophiliac. That's odd. Women pass on the gene, but to develop the disease is rare. I get regular abstracts from the Hemophilia Society. Well, how many are we talking about in town? Female hemophiliacs in this city, precisely three. Well, that needle kicks the haystack's ass. Hi, Helen Underhill? Yes? You're older. I don't know how I can thank you. Who's that? Please say that as the plumber. <laughs> Helen, who are these people? Who are we? Who are you? Oh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's the husband. Oh, baby, it's me. Romeo, back off. Was I talking to you? No, I wasn't. Okay, okay, heartwarming reunion is over. It's time for quiet inside voices. Sorry. I'm calling the police. Uh, that's okay. Sorry to bother you. You clearly don't need any magazine subscriptions. Honey, do you know this kid? No, I have no idea who he is. It's Bull. That's Bull! You and me were meant to be together! Okay, enough. No, I have to talk to her. Sorry, really sorry to have bothered you. I phoned around. The other two women were still alive when Al Smith died. So it couldn't be them. Well, cougars everywhere. Thank you for that. It was her. Okay, I can feel it was her. I've been doing this a long time. I, I gotta put my love somehow, win her back. Look, Lee, this isn't a, a teen movie. You can't just stand on her front lawn holding a boombox, playing a romantic song. You're not gonna get what you want that way. She said she didn't know you. I mean, not to mention the fact she's old enough to be your chemistry teacher. I lay there 10 years too long. Now we're to whack. That's why she's older. Look, I gotta, I gotta bounce to get some fresh air or something. You guys, you guys see me like this is embarrassing. Because you're so smooth on the porch. OK, let's just take a time out. We'll regroup later. You keep an eye on him. Why is everything so messed up this time? You know, I, I used to think I had my destiny figured out. But I was better off in a damn coma. So it turns out the love of Lee's many lifetimes has no idea who he is. That hurts. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm surprised at this point. Love's a fragile thing. From one lifetime to the next, it's never easy. Yeah. Um, the 80s called, they would like their lyrics back. Look, you two hit it off. Can you talk him through this whole thing? Don't tell me you think he should pursue it. I don't know. I do think you're very eager to dismiss it. Well, he's 15 years old. So were you once, as was I. This is different. I don't see how. Well, she's a decade older, for starters. Older women can be quite intoxicated. Well, she's married. Hardly an insurmountable obstacle, especially if she's. No, no. Please don't say it. Don't say soulmate. I can't handle it. As you wish. I mean, this is a woman's marriage we're talking about here. It's not something to be just tossed away casually. I'm not. But I do know a thing or two about dying for love. Lee's lived for love, and he's died for it. He's even transcended death in search of it. What about that sounds casual to you? I don't even know why I thought I should talk to you about this. The simple fact that he keeps coming back, doesn't that say something? 
Yeah, it says that he's completely obsessed. There's no pull more powerful in the universe than longing. That kind of longing will get you an ankle bracelet and restraining order. In my time, it got you a sonnet. That's progress for you. Vancouver. Were you planning a trip, Henry? Do you know why you're having such trouble with your case? I'm sure I'm about to find out. Because you don't understand your client. Not one bit. Hey! Hi. Where is he? He wanted to walk. Why? Um, I'm trying to figure out why Helen Underhill took this book out four times. Ancient Echoes. Yeah. And this one, Past Hurts, Past Healing. These are all books about reincarnation. Yes, yeah, so I either prove that she's from the West Coast or... She lied. And you believe him? No, I believe we haven't exhausted all the avenues yet. Oh, come on, that's kind of a big leap from a bunch of books about reincarnation to I'm pining for my soul recycled boy toy. How did you get her library records? I know librarians. Mm hmm. Don't judge. Ooh, see if this pays off. This month is the anniversary of the car accident. Guess who sent flowers to John Smith's grave? I told you not to come back here. I'm very sorry about before, but I really do need your help. Do you recognize this woman? She's older here. She was a teenager when she came to see me. She asked questions about John, but, but Alice, she, she talked about Alice like they were old friends. She knew things she couldn't possibly have known. Such as? One day when John was at work, I went over to see Alice and, and made a fool of myself. Oh, boy. And this girl, she told me I should forgive myself because Alice had forgiven me. Everybody makes mistakes, Mr. Smith. Look, don't, don't take this the wrong way. Every time you come here, you dredge your terrible memories. My mom says the same thing every time I come home for the holidays. Thank you for your time. Hey, Corrine, it's me. Helen Underhill is a liar. She was trying to find Lee. We at least owe Lee an explanation. Yeah, well. He shredded more than the skateboard moves lately. He's on my last nerve. You're thinking of not telling him that Helen was looking for him? Yo, I'm here and I ain't leaving. My word is bond, I'm the same man. That Ford in Brockville, I breached it. That winter in 1898, I was the one who brought you that blanket. The day the war ended in Europe, I was the one who grabbed your hand. Yo, all of that was me! Why can't you just obsess over video games like every other 15-year-old boy? You. Where were you? You weren't there. I'm here now. Now's too late. Lee, she said no.
Yes, go with him. Just don't let him get into any trouble and tell him I need to talk to him. Okay. Just let him go. I thought I had. Here you go. Are you sure this is decaf? Oh, yeah. Real coffee would take this out behind the shed and beat it till it turned to tea. So, he slept here. Yeah, he's really messy. I mean, he couldn't get the cap back on the toothpaste, couldn't hang the towel back up to save his life, left a seat up on the toilet and I... There, you're all filled in. How far along are you? Is it that obvious? Just observant. Oh. I'll be showing soon. We always sacrifice everything. It never works out. Yeah, the fairy tale runs a little thin on the ground, doesn't it? You know, a pregnancy like mine is still dangerous. It's only in the last 20 years I could even consider carrying to term. Barton's so protective, stable, safe. I know he'll never leave me. He's the kind of guy who buys you socks for your anniversary. I get it. Well, I do love him. Hey, Barton's the logical choice. You know, I've been a damsel in distress, a disobedient daughter, a teen bride. I've followed my heart for a dozen lifetimes. Well, maybe it's time you start following your head. I'm still following my heart. It's just tell me something different. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have two men in my life. You know, with one, it's like... <laughs> but the other one is so... <laughs> yeah, I don't even think my head and my heart are on speaking terms anymore. I used to feel that way. You cannot tell him. He wanted children so badly. But he stayed with me, even when he knew he couldn't. Does it ever stop being confusing? <laughs> Not really. I'm not going to stop you. But if you think getting drunk is going to solve anything, you're in for a disappointment. I got to win her back. For real. The night was black, we found that tree. Her pop said we'd never be together, so we busted out when we stole a canoe. That was a long time ago, Lee. 1881. She's heading back to boarding school, so I jacked the horse and I beat the train there. I've climbed rock faces, seen bad places. Armies rise and armies fall. To be with her, I've done it all. Back in the day, you could steal a horse or raid a village, storm a castle. But nowadays, when a woman says, move on, that's what you do. It's a different time. Well, this time sucks. They keep people alive in comas, and they cut down trees for another damn mall nobody needs. It's not ideal. I'll give you that. People used to talk about love a whole lot less. Improve it a whole lot more. You know what I'm saying? True that. Old soul or not, you're still a minor. Kareem followed you, told me where I could find you. Yeah, well, I don't need your help anymore. I know what I gotta do. Do you ever ask yourself why, Lee? I mean, why the two of you are never together that long? Why something always jumps in and drives the two of you apart? You know, at what point you can see that the universe is trying to tell you something? You know, most of us get one lifetime. We make our mistakes, we learn from them, and we move on. I just think it's time you learned that. You're right. Respect. Good luck, kid.
Did you enjoy that? I am just trying to pull the Band-Aid off nice and fast. The sooner he understands all this, the sooner he can move on. Maybe it is time he gets away from her. You know, this isn't a romance novel, Henry. There is no happily ever after. I'm finally starting to see that. Augustus, let's do this now. Just like clockwork, we decide all these little known facts ring false. Turn the light on and go on home. Absence serves you well. What's in the case of a day? Look, give me an hour and I'll be home. Yeah, you too. Hey! All right, fun's over, kid. It's not your fault, you wouldn't be able to understand. Look here, I don't know where you saw her, and I don't care. You're sick, you need help, and that's fine. But yo, 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 now here's what's up, okay? You're gonna stay away from my wife and me, or you're gonna get hurt? It's not like that, man. I just want to talk to you. I just, just want to get with her. I know. It's never going to happen. No. I love her. You ever had fun for food? Do you ever have a red coat POW? Uh. I don't do Queensbury rules, G. Hey, come on, let me pass or I'll huff and I'll puff. And you still won't get through that door. Whoever said wisdom was the result of life experience was a moron. How is he? Barton Underhill's assailant knocked him to the ground, struck him repeatedly, probably would have killed him if somebody else hadn't come along and scared him away. If he makes it through the night, he might be able to sit up and see his baby being born. He did manage to give an ID. Apparently, our suspect... Is my client. I know that part. All right, commence Salucci's scolding. Vicky, this is attempted murder. You led the perp right to the victim. If I had known any of this, I wouldn't have let him out of the office. Okay, he just seemed upset. I mean, he's 15 years old. How many 15-year-old drug dealers and gangbangers have we sent up over the years? Do you have any leads? None besides you. You can start by telling me why your client thinks that the victim's wife is his ex-girlfriend. You remember that accident I had you pull the car wreck from 25 years ago? That was them in a past life. No. Vicky, this isn't just about you anymore, okay? I can't paper this one over. Where's this kid's parents? He's an emancipated minor. Don't look at me, okay? Look at the judge. Just tell me, what do you need me to do? Oh, I think you've done enough, Nelson. Let's do that review now. You're distracted and diffuse. You're not clearing cases. You alienate colleagues with erratic behavior. Any of this sounding familiar, Nelson? Your Vic's awake. Finish the interview and stop pulling on the thread that's unraveling your career. If I decide that you are interfering in this investigation in any way, I'll throw your ass in jail myself. Uh, Exquisite. I gave up trying to serve you anything else a long time ago. Do you even remember the taste of wine? 
Compared to blood, everything else pales. So few people know what to say when they're entertaining. My father used to go on and on about your Pompeton 23. <laughs> First vintage after the war. Not that this isn't a treat, Augustus, but if it's all the same, can we cut the small talk and get to negotiations? As you wish. <laughs> you know, they keep trying to make me go digital. I say, you can't hack into CUNY for them. Amen to that. All right, around the record, and officially open. I'm looking for an open territory, or a straight swamp. Yeah, let's see what we've got. Are cash inducements available? Within reason. Are you restricting this to North America? For now. Do you affirm that these grounds are not compromised by publicity, indiscriminate hunting, or otherwise compromising forces, unnatural or not? I so affirm. You sure? Augustus. Four generations, our families helped to keep the peace. I don't intend to let things slide now. You sound just like your grandfather. Well, I thank you. If you really want to make a move, why not be it on a significant territory? Say one of those New York boroughs. No, I'm not interested in the upsell. I'm thinking more West Coast. Vancouver, Seattle, perhaps. Now that's too wet. You'll catch your death. <laughs> well, maybe not you. But... Is this about Christina? No. No. Mm -hmm. But there's a woman, yes. <laughs> My granddad was right about you, Henry. <gasps> Lee, what are you doing here? What did you do? I made a mistake. I wasn't supposed to go down like that for real. That's so crazy. And I'm so sorry. Just let me call Vicky. I can get you some help. No, Vicky, okay? I just came to say thank you. I don't want you guys to worry anymore. I just have to start over. You put him in the hospital. You did that. It's not simple anymore. You're wrong. It's so simple. We just need to start over. What do you mean, we, Lee? I need your wallet. Lee! Your wallet! <gasps> Thanks. Car's in the garage. Keys are on the counter. Uh, should be a half a day. Nice. Sixty-two. You remember that? Yeah. It was me that pulled the alarm. I knew it. <laughs> and you picked the heat for John. I loved you for that. You take care. I gotta go, little brother. Salucci. Hey, Mike. I think Lee's gonna do something drastic. So we need to track down any acquaintances of John and Alice Smith. I mean, Lee's looking for something familiar, so he may even go back a lifetime. That's 40 years. Yeah, well, it's all we've got. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna explain that line of inquiry. Hey, listen, do you have a car on Helen Underhill's house? Gee, that's a great idea, because it would never occur to a cop to send a car. Well, he sent one? Mike, if, if any of the stories about this kid are true, then he's been a soldier, a trapper, a, a thief, a tracker. And a lawyer, and a doctor, and an Indian chief. Yeah, I get it. Would you check on your patrol? All right, hold on. Thank you. Nine two one. Ferguson, you there? I gotta go.
You never did lock up. This isn't the way. It's the only way. Come on. Please, Lee. You've got to let me go. It's a new tree, eh? Let this lake clean you and me start over? I've known him two years. He's kind. He loves me. It doesn't matter. Oh, Lee, it does to me. We've done this enough. It's time to stop. It got messed up this time for sure. But it's gonna be better next time. What you're gonna see. Her car's still parked in the garage. There's no sign of a struggle. Everything seems to be in order. What's he doing? Where are they going? They always meet at the tree first. I do understand him. I really wish I didn't. Vicky? Yeah, he's gonna try and recreate the first time. What does that mean? It means he wants a do-over, but we cannot let him have it, okay? I need you to find any kind of a uh, group of old growth trees or protected trees, like the ones they carved their initials into. All right, it'll be isolated. I'm on it. I'll call you back. Okay, thank you. That's a pretty big leap. Well, for us, I mean, that's not even hitting the top 20. Yeah, Salushi. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I found the uniform in his car three blocks from here. He's unconscious, his gun was taken. Look, this place is gonna be swarming in about two minutes, and they're gonna have a lot of questions for you. Only best for both of us if you just go. Hey, how are you gonna find him? Well, I'd, I'd have to know someone who was a superior tracker with almost supernatural skills. Yeah. Mike, I'm sorry, I screwed up. <laughs> you better get out of here while I still have a job. <laughs> All right, I'll bring your draft papers by on Thursday. I'll extend my reservation to Friday night. Great. Oh, my. Hi. Vicki Nelson, this is Augustus. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Mm hmm Friday night, Henry. Uh, what was that all about? Another night at the Four Seasons on my account. Right. Right. Um, Henry, I know this isn't your problem, but Lee has taken Helen. I, I think he's gonna try and press some reset button or something. I need your help. I know, I know you like this kid. Kidnapping and confinement crosses the line. It always did. Even true love has its breaking point. Yeah, Corrine. This breed of tree had a bad blight hit in the 70s. It's actually pretty rare now. But there's a protected copse of them in High Park. I'm texting you a map. Thank you so much. OK, we're on our way. We got it. Let's go. It's going to be better next time. We're going to see. It hasn't been working. Not for a few lifetimes now. I get hurt. Or you take a risk you shouldn't, so I won't get hurt. We've been avoiding the truth, Lee. We haven't been happy. That's not true. You're in love with being in love. Then I'm so tired. I need to move on. We've got a new tree now. Everything's good for next time. There is no next time. There is if I say there is. <gasps> this is all my fault. I shouldn't have pushed him. I should Don't. You were right to push. Everybody needs a push sometimes. That's how we know when it's time to move on. You really mean that? Yeah. Trouble is, is Lee wasn't ready to hear what you had to say. But you are. There. That way, two heartbeats. Hey, don't wait for me. Go. Please! It's time to stop! It will stop. Right now. I can't let you do that. Then kill me. Maybe I'll kill her first, maybe I won't. Lee, things change. They're supposed to. And none of this is supposed to happen. Lee? She's pregnant. How can you not tell me that? Oh, you couldn't. It's not just about you two anymore. Think of all your great adventures. All the things you did for love. I did. I did all of those things. Those were me. Yeah. And if you do this, 
All he'll be is a killer. What about next time, Lee? What is she gonna think? How is she supposed to feel the next time? I can't go on. No, not like this. Lee, don't do this. You have this life, live it. Please, Lee. Come on. Okay, I got her. It's not worth it anymore. Don't destroy yourself. Choose to move on. To hell with love. There was this girl I went to the academy with. Real mouthy. Could barely talk to her. But I was completely obsessed with her. Got my badge. Guess who I ended up working with? How'd that work out for you? Great. Until it didn't. You know, Lee, passion is one thing. But it's rarely very honest. So you hurt. But you work at it, and you work at it. Until you eventually get to a better place. You really think so? Well, that's the theory, anyway. Why are you telling me this? Because you're young. You don't know that romance is the easy part. Love. Well, it takes years and years of hard work to pull that one off. Write it up. I'll be back. You okay? Yeah. You know, Henry's thinking of leaving town. Because of you? Nelson Investigations? Mike, hey. That's great. Well, she's right here if you want to. Okay. Sure, I will. Lee's taking a plea. He won't be tried as an adult. He could have told me himself. Right. So it's like that. You really think it's over between Lee and Helen? Or in another generation, it'll start up again? Who knows? All that energy, all that obsession. All for the one. Yeah, some people have more than one. <laughs>